Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Moderately Anonymous MTG CEDH, the greatest CEDH channel in the multiverse. As always, this episode is brought to you by TCG Player. Hit that TCG Player affiliate link in the description to pick up any of the cards that you see in today's video. It's a great way to help out the channel. And thank you to all of our patrons who make great content like this possible. Become a patron, enjoy Patreon exclusive content, and give direct support to the channel. We're back today with our final game from our last stream with Cam and Dylan from Play to Win, as well as the Kirk father himself, Ken from Stacked EDH, and this one is an absolute banger. First up, we've got Cam playing Eager Bruise, You Snooze, You Lose. This is a proactive ad nauseum list looking to transfer life gain from Eager and Bruise into rock hard advantage with cards like Ad Nauseum and Bolas of Citadel. Second is Dylan playing Eureka the Tiger Shadow. This is an adaptive combo deck that can use its commander as a draw engine and win con to burn out opponents with damage or go for quick combo lines. Third up is Mr. Storm Daddy playing Krark and Sakashima. This is a mid-range storm list using its commanders to generate massive amounts of advantage to outmaneuver opponents while going for quick combo wins. And last up is Mod playing Sinestra's Freeze Thief, an adaptation of Tim Necrom Blue Farm. This is a proactive combo deck looking to utilize the power of spells like Ad Nauseam to overtake its opponents and land one of its combo lines. Remember, if you enjoyed this video, it helps out a lot to click that like and subscribe button. It's one of the best ways to support the channel and everyone is highly appreciated. And without further ado, let's hop into the game. This is I kind of exciting to risky here. keep this one, but it'll be... Uh... This bad news bears if I don't draw that land. Let's look at the top. Commit the cardinal sin. Of course, it was a land. Yeah, don't never. I did why? it. I why? did it. Why? It wasn't even that good though. I was gonna keep it based on like turn one mox diamond pitching that land to cast an Esper Sentinel and then hopefully draw oh. worth lands to cast a time twister. Got it. It's pretty flimsy. Okay. That can probably yeah. be better on a four. All right. Not the worst four I've ever seen. All right. I have a five. Oh boy. Yeah, we'll just keep this. Seen worse fours in my life. Does anyone have any uh, pregame effects? Nope, not for me. Not me. Tears. All right. Well, then I am going to go to my first turn. Get a draw. We're going to cast a Mox Diamond, discarding Scrubland. Play a Bloodstained Mire. Cast a Tinder Wall and pass the turn. Okay. Sure. Rock hard. Play this River of Tears which will tap for a black since a land came into play and play a fourth bridge prowler. Give Tinderwall minus one, minus one till in a turn. Ha! <laughs> you got him! Really gotcha. Um, that's it, I will pass my turn. All right, draw. Okay, I'll play a Fiery Islet. I'll cast a Mox Diamond. Mm -hmm. I'll pitch a Snow Covered Island and lose a life, cast Kark. You got it. And that's my turn. Draw. I'll play a Badlands as my land for turn. I'll cast a Jeweled Lotus. I'll cast a Rite of Flame. Back for blue and Krom. And I guess we just hold up Krom as a blocker and pass. All right, I will crack at the end of your turn. You'll get Blood Crypt tapped. My turn, get a draw. Guess I'm gonna pass. Untap. Draw a card. Hmm. Are you just looking for that land for Nas? What's going on there, Cam? <laughs> I am not quite ready for many things, it looks like. Okay. okay. <laughs> That's good. That's a very enigmatic. I like yeah, that. We'll see. We'll see if we can get there, but. Dang, yeah. Najila just, her Yuriko really can't just get in. Oh, yeah. Look at this. Big blockers all around again. All right. Let's play an island. Cast a Mana Crypt. And I guess we don't feed Krom. So, okay. no. <laughs> Pass turn. Yeah, I'll play an Island. Cast a Mana Crypt. Uh, sorry, everybody. You don't have to be. Don't listen to them. I don't. <laughs> Cast Sakashima. Trigger Krark. Trigger Krark? You don't have a Krark. I mean Krom. You just fuck with my head. <laughs> All right, yeah, I'll get a, I'll get a Sakashima. My bad. Uh, Kark. Understand that could and... be very confusing for you. <laughs> what do you mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll. Oh, here. This is gonna be the OG. This will be the uh, different one. And then combat. Move through combat. Pass the turn. Untap. Draw. 
play Morphic Pool as my land for turn, and I'll pass. Draw. <laughs> We're gonna sacrifice Tinderwall for two red and cast a Dockside Extortionist with that. Hmm. I think that's three. Yep. I am going to tap this and sacrifice all my treasures to put a Culling Ritual onto the stack. I will float two mana. Try to fluster it, losing a life. That's a shame. That, that happens. Yeah, okay, gosh, I, I, got some, I got some Krark triggers. Uh, three, fluster back in hand. And four, another copy. It's way countered. I will pass. End step. I'll chain a vapor crumb. That's rude. Okay. You want to copy it? Uh, No, I don't think so. I'm thinking about hitting that dock side, but no. You it's can fine. bounce one of those Krarks. No, not worth it for one of my lands. Good, good call. All right, draw card. Got an island, Mox Diamond, mm -hmm. discarding a swamp, and combat. Send the fourth bridger at you, Mod. Yep. And it blocks. makes a tap these two. Command Nujitsu in Yuriko. Just one, and Yuriko trigger. Ooh, wow, that's lucky oh. one. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah. 11 damage. Eight, 10. 11. Eight, nine, 10, 11 damage. One, Yeesh. one, 11. Me. Okay. <laughs> 29. Yeah. And then one more from Eureka. Cast Demonic Tutor. Find this card. Cast Scroll Rack. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> ouch. Ouch. Yep. Big ouchies. Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Pass turn. That's it. All right. Untap. Upkeep. Trigger Crypt. Evens will hurt me. That's a two. I take three. Bolt myself. 24. And then I'll draw. Wow. We're gonna get just eleven over and over and over again. Draw? No, I don't. I don't think that could happen. No, <laughs> no, that's yeah. good. I don't think that could happen. I trust you. I trust you. I trust you. That sounds good. Play a snow-covered mountain. Wow, it's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna be pretty painful. <laughs> nah, we'll do that. Yeah, try casting Gataxi Probe a hundred times now, Ken. There you go. Yeah, there Ken. you go. Shit. All right, all right. <laughs> I'll float a colorless. You mm -hmm. cast a Baral. So then I'll use the Colorless and the Snow-Covered Mountain to cast a Ruby Medallion. I'm just going to chip in Dylan for two. Okay, I'll take two. Pass it up. Cool, I'm going to draw Dockside Extortionist off the top of my library. <laughs> pretty close, he's pretty close. Play this Gemstone Caverns as my land for turn. I'd like to put one Time Twister onto the stack, please. Shoot. Mm -hmm. I love it. Yes, please. I have, I have no responses. That is I'm also excellent. also a big a big fan. I'll put Krom in the command zone. All right, so we're we're all we're all big fans of this, and we're just gonna just yeah, gonna pretend the first couple turns just never happened. That's yep. right. I'll here's a force negation of fluster storm. That's what I'm shuffling in with the island. Oh, I thought for a second that you were countering the thing. I'm like, I already shuffled my hand in my oh, deck. Oh, no. Right. Ken's too late. I'm drawing seven for sure. Ken can go I'm just fucking there. Everybody else counter is counting. I'm figuring it's not good. Card, though. Yep. That. Oh, man. This is one of the worst sevens yet. <laughs> <laughs> no, I can't mulligan this one away, right? I have to keep it. Yeah. Uh, I wish. I will definitely take one more mull. I would mull down a four again, looking at this one. Um, I can take no further game actions. I will pass the turn. Man, for the best deck in the uh, format, not having a good time playing this Tim the Crom deck right now. We're going to go to my turn. Well, that is a land. Yeah, we're going to cast Demonic Tutor. This one. Uh, we're going to cast it. It was it was Mana Crypt here. And that will be all. I will pass. Untap. Draw a card. I have a Polluted Delta here. We're going to cast a Mox Amber. I am going to Gitaxi and Probe Ken. Ready? All right, here we go. Oh, okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. All right. And you have one blue, two mana available. Correct. Right now. And you have yep. two carks out. Draw a card with Probe. You guys can look. Cool. Oh, boy. Bad. I don't like the sound of any no, of this. No, it sounded real grim. <laughs> you're gonna catch with Polluted Delta. Underground C. I'm gonna point a snuff out at that Sakashima. Uh, since I control a swap, I'll pay four life instead of its mana cost. 
Yeah, I mean, this is probably pretty good bait, but I'll take it because I'm a dumbass. I'm going to cast a deflecting swat and get these two triggers targeting the snuff out. All right, here we go. Here's the first one. Four. Copy a swat targeting snuff out. Oh, nuts. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I will change the target a snuff out to Cam's Dockside Extortionist. Then I've got one more Kark trigger. That's a six. So SWAT copy again. Invalid target. Final one will go to the bin. Love it. I think what we do is I'm going to activate Scroll Rack actually here. Put aside three cards. Put three cards into my hands. Go to combat. Um, Cameron, I'm going to come at you with Yuriko. Yuriko trigger or reveal Shakashima student. I felt so stupid when you put it at the... Um, the, the dockside extortion it's like damn i could have flashed this in and made infinite mana off of the dockside this turn that was, oh was shit <laughs> oh okay okay I, okay but uh yeah so i'll have you each player take four and then i have a rhystic study i'm gonna respond to the rhystic study yeah you got it tap the mox diamond for red and cast pyroblast targeting rhystic study trigger trigger six copy of pyroblast Son of a gun. Same, yeah, same target. I'm going to attempt a swan song. The copy? Yeah, the copy. The copy is going to get a swan song, so I'll make a bird. This will go to the bin. So just have one more Kark Pirate trigger. Class. Yeah, Kark okay. trigger. All right, here we go. Come on, evens. Don't f*** me, Kark. That's a four. Copy of Pyro Blast. Same it's... target. Rhystic study. Yeah. Yep, that's fine. All nice. right, so now I got a brawl trigger. That'd okay, draw. Bad. Okay, I'm going to discard a uh, mountain. I'm going to Demonic Tutor here. Getting this card, and I'm, I'm going to cast a Mystic or more. Black Misty in response. <laughs> you Ken... better be prepared to stop Ken. I was going to say, yeah, uh, should we talk about how Ken is going to win the game, maybe? No. Uh, Cam, I can just tell you, at least based on my hand right now, I don't have any gas. I've got stuff, I've got interaction, but I don't have any gas. I was mainly afraid of interaction. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So if you can get rid of the fish, the, I can't. Maybe I want this fish to be around for a billion turns. Do you really? Look how much mana Dylan has. Interacting with him is going to be a fucking nightmare. Yeah, but I need, I need, I need walking time. The park. I need time is the problem. You need time? You need time, yes. You need a, like a final fortune? What are you We're talking about? Out of time. <laughs> no, I just need, I just need time. Like That's time all crisis that I need. two kind of time. I'm going to, I've decided I'm going to not interact with this Mystic Remora currently. Cool. Very it's cool. excellent. Oh, cool. pass turn. Yeah, that sound, sounds good to me. Untap, upkeep, crypt, evens, hurt. Six. Draw. You got uh, yeah, what the fuck is going on here? I guess. Just pass the turn, right? Nope. <laughs> no. um, I think I might have missed to a mana crypt or two roll. No one can. I missed at least two. I'm going to crack my fiery islet. Take to three. Draw a card. I'm going to take another three because I'm pretty sure I missed two. I'll play a City of Brass as my land for turn. I'm going to tap the island and cast a fish of my own. Trigger your fish not paying. Oh, nice. I'll draw a card. And then I'll move to combat. Six at you, Dylan. Yeah, and if that's okay, I'm going to just pass it up. Cool. I'll untap, draw. I will play a Scrubland. I will cast a Mystic Remora. <laughs> oh, I will trigger two yeah. Mystic Remoras and I will not pay for either of them. Yeah, I got I got no response to your fish. I, mean, I bet Dylan does not. I mean, I wanted to buy this much time. This is... Yeah, how much time you need? <laughs> how many time, time it's you got, free. Um, You're good. That's all I got. Sweet. I'm going to pass the turn from there. What? Man, if for trigger, we and get an even. So we're not going to pay... Okay, uh, we'll play a land that comes into play untapped, so I take two damage. And we're going to cast a friend of mine, Ikra. And I will pass the turn after that. Untap. I will pay for the Mystic Remora. Snow Covered Swamp. Go to Combat. Mod, I think it's you still. Okay. I'm at you with just a Yuriko. You got it. No blocks. Before damage, I'll activate Scroll Rack, and I will put three cards aside and draw three sakashima on top again yep. for four damage on everyone and then i will cast a changeling outcast <laughs> yep, nice. yeah. 
Cast this Universal Automaton. Cast this Ginger Brute. Hell, Hell yeah. yeah. Wow. I love shit. a Ginger Brute. Love yeah. a Ginger Brute. Yeah. It's a lot of fucking one. Yuriko triggers here. Really? One K one army. cards soon enough. Um, that's all I got though. Pass the turn. Did you roll for crypt? Ah, thanks. I'm a cheater again. Yeah. Odds, I'll take damage. Untap, trigger this fish, Let and I think I'm gonna pay for it. I'll draw a card. Live on the edge, shock and esteem vents. Uh oh. Because yep. Yuriko is going to destroy my entire body here in just a second, so might as well go for it. Cast a Cyclonic Rift single target, targeting Dylan's fish. Not paying for either fish. Disrespect. On the top yeah, of the spark trigger. Well. All right, here we go. Here we go. Come on, I need some copies. That's a one, so it'll go back to my hand. Next one. Come on. Even, 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 even. That's a six. Copy of Psych Rift, same target. Then I will one, two, three. So I'll have a colorless floating. And I am going to cast a Jessica's Will. Trigger, trigger. Cards in hand, everybody. Not paying uh, for either fish. I'm going to draw. Oh, yeah, not paying for the fish. And I'll be up to eight. Dan, I'm going to target you with the Jessica's Will. I'll respond to this. Cast a silence. Nice. That seems pretty, pretty good. Trigger fish. Are you paying? Nope, I cannot. And Come I will on, not. baby. Huh. Mm. Yeah, that's that that doesn't do it. Oh shit! You got it. You got it. Okay. Well, yeah. Okay. The, I, I no response to silence. I don't think. Double check my hand. Yeah. No, I can't. Can't do it. Uh, so yeah, here we go. Here's some sad Jessica's will. The saddest Jessica's will in the world. Here we go. That's a four. Copy of Jessica's will. Mm -hmm. Let's let's exile some cards for no good reason. I'll make eight red mana. Command tower, a Gataxian probe, and a twin flame. Okay. That's a bummer. Next one. That's a six. Another Jessica's will. Go up to 16 red. Exile a brainstorm, a lightning bolt, and a jeweled lotus. And then the final Jessica's will. It's going to go to the bin. We exile a Blazing Volley, an Impulse, and a Grape Shot. Okay. It's, those are very, very, very good hits. I guess I'm going to move to combat and let all of that go away. I'm going to swing none of these suckers anywhere. I'm going to just pass the turn. All right, I'll untap. Uh, trigger Fish, I'm out. Keep, I'll pay for it with the Gemstone Caverns. Draw for turn. Let's play an Arid Mesa. I'd like to crack that, go down to 18. I'll get a, a Tundra. Ken, I would like to target you with the Jessica's Will. I see, I see. I'm gonna draw from Fish. I'm, I'm yep. angry. I will which immediately- mo Which mode? Mana? Just, just the mana, presumably? yeah. I'm yeah. gonna dump it into yep. a Chrome. And whether or not it resolves, I'm passing. Please let it resolve. Yeah, yeah I'm good with Chrome. <laughs> We're gonna go to my turn then. Mana Crypt Trigger, odds I take damage. Got an even, hooray. We will go to my draw. Uh, we're gonna cast a Bruise. Bruise ETB targeting Ikra. Nice. Then we're going to go right to combat and hit our wide open non person who can block menacing here. Dan, coming at you with Ikra here. I will take it all and go to uh, 12. Fantastic. So with the first hit, we're going to gain 10 off of lifelink and an Ikra trigger. Then it's going to happen again. What would you look at that? You bought some time. <laughs> nice. All right. Yes, I did buy some time. Okay. In step, I got some FX. Okay, I'm gonna cast Submerge, targeting um, Yuriko, and get a couple Kark triggers, and not paying for fish. Three puts Submerge back in my hand, and next is a one. Fuck, how much am I gonna feed Dan? A little. Um, a little. <laughs> how many cards do you have in hand right now? Me? A stately seven. A stately seven, fuck. Yeah, but you're tapped out. I'm gonna, f yeah, I, cause I can't, I can't die. Got to not die in order to, to win. Same thing. Uh, Yuriko's the original target. Same Here we thing. go. Uh, one submerge goes back to hand, and oh, that's a that's a one. I'm Fuck sorry, I've got a, a crom draw on top of this. Yeah, you can draw two. And a mystic room. Let's try it again. Three, back in hand. What is going on right now, Ken? And four. Okay. Just just targeting Yuriko. Putting outside my library. Cast Submerge again. You may draw. Uh, the original target is going to be the Changeling Outcast. 
three, submerge back in my hand, and two, copy, targeting the changeling outcast. I think I gotta go all in here. Cast it again, targeting the gender brute. Five, back to hand, and four, copy. Final one, targeting the changeling bot with the automaton. Here we go. Uh, one, back to hand, and three. I'm gonna cast it one more time. Dan, draw one more card. Come on, baby. One, back to hand, and three. Uh, when I said one more time, I meant two more times. Dan, yep. draw another card. Yep, gladly. Three, back to hand, and two. There you go. Copy of Smirch. All right. Uh, go to me. Untap. Draw a card. Mana Confluence. Cast Mystic or Mora. Draw. Draw. Let me think about how to deal with all that Smirch bullshit. Let's activate Scroll Rack. I'll put... Okay. Two back and draw two. Universal automaton. Yep, okay. uh, it's the crumb trigger. Changeling outcast. Just cast a skull snatcher. But that colors from mana crypt to also cast the ginger brute here. Uh, pass turn. Skull okay. snatcher, a rat ninja. Cool, nice. A rat, a rat ninja. <laughs> fuck yeah. Yeah. That's that's who's holding the pizza. That one photograph. Live your best life. Okay, untap, upkeep, keep the fish around. Crypt trigger, evens hurt me. Three, all good. Draw. Cast a desperate ritual. Not paying for your fish, and I've got two crook triggers. Four, copy a desperate ritual. Is that okay? Yep. Three red mana, and here's the next one. Five, desperate ritual back to hand. Yep. Um... Use one of the red, cast a gamble, not paying for your fish, and get two crook triggers. Also a crop draw. All right, here we go. Let's see if I can gamble at all. If crook can gamble, that's a good question. That's a two. Copy a gamble on the stack. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Does somebody got a D10 they want to roll? I do. One will be on the left and 10 will be on the right. Second one. Second Zero. one is... A fierce guardianship. Then here's the next crook trigger. That's a one. So gamble will return to my hand. Cast another gamble. Not paying for either fish. A one. Gamble back to hand. Next one. Five. Nothing happens. Use the red. Cast a desperate ritual. Not paying for either fish. Two. Copy a desperate ritual. Three. Back in hand. Cast a gamble. Draw. Uh, three, back in hand. Four, copy a gamble on the stack. Yep. Take a look at my hand one more time. Make sure I'm not doing anything silly here. I'm, well, I mean, I'm definitely doing sub stupid shit feeding these fishes, but you got to do what you got to do. Ten, again. Oh, should I roll again? The eighth one. The eighth one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You got a right of flame. Okay, I'll use one of the red... Cast an Underworld Breach, paying for neither fish. Draw. All right. Well, now it might be the time that we should try to do something, perhaps. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm going to try to interact with this. I would like to cast a, uh, a Force of Negation, exiling a Winds of Rebuke, targeting that little sucker right there. Nice. Targeting the Underworld Breach. And I cannot pay for either of the Mystic Remoras. Uh, yeah, I got, I got no response. Oh. Uh, Dylan, you want to counter it? No, that's fine. <laughs> okay, okay. Okay. It gets exiled. Um, and then let's tap for one, two, three, lose a life, four, and use my floating red and cast Mind's Desire. Uh, storm is seven. Eight, because of your force and negation. Trigger, trigger. Yeah, it's good by me. Yeah. Okay. That's cool. Um, it is so really cool. I'll I just... can't wait to watch it happen. <laughs> So I'll put a put a counter here just to determine that I have seven copies on the stack, and then I'll do the Kark triggers after. Yep. Get a good shuffle, and we're gonna go. The first one is a training center. The second one is a island. Oh no! The third one is a heat shimmer. The fourth one is a mountain. The fifth one is a finale promise. The sixth one is a tavern scoundrel. The final copy is a pact negation. And then I have the two Kark triggers. Here we go. That's a four. So another Mind's Desire, uh, Shiv and Reef, and then the next Kark trigger is a five. Mind's Desire back in hand. You have to see it. All right, so I can cast all this bullshit for free. Mm -hmm. Did I play land for turn? 
start casting some of this stuff. Uh, I'll Fruit cast Loop a- Enema is chiming in to say, no, you did not. Okay, thank you, Fruit Loop Enema. Hell yeah, big ups, big love. Cast a Tavern Scoundrel. I'll play a Training Center as my land for turn. Cast a Heat Shimmer. The target is going to be this uh, Sakashima Krark. Trigger the fish, draw. Yeah, go for it. And then uh, here we go with Krark. Come on, baby. That's a three, so Heat Shimmer will go back to my hand. Next one, three, nothing happens. Cool, okay. love that. That's 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 very cool and cash money. Man, that was a lot of a lot of lands on that Mind Sire. That sucked. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm gonna cast a Chromox. Y'all can draw. I will. All right, Good. I'm gonna imprint this Archmage Emeritus. Okay. Storm's 11 now, I think. Yep. Red from this training center, cast a Desperate Ritual. Um, Y'all may, may draw. All right, here we go, Crack Trigger. That's a four. Trigger Tavern Scoundrel. Uh, make two treasures and make three red. Next is a six, same thing. Two treasures, up to four treasures, three red, up to six red, and then the original will resolve and take me to nine red. And what are you gonna cast, Ken? And then what? Heat Shimmer. Oh. Use okay. two of the red, go yeah, to seven. Storm count. Makes sense. Target Sakashima Park. Uh, draw? Yep. Yeah. All right. Six, copy Heat Shimmer. Trigger Tavern Scoundrel. Yep. Six treasures will still target the Sakashima Kark. If that resolves, uh, I'll make, make it. It'll go away at the end of turn. Here we go. Uh, five. Shimmer back to hand. Yeah, go to five red. 14 storm. Do it again. This time I'm going to target... Yeah, Sakashima Krark. Fuck it. Same thing. Um, I gotta All think right. about that for a second. Yep. Yep. This is like pseudo-infinite if you're able to copy it. Oh, very, with the Tavern Scoundrel, because yeah. the copies can target Scoundrel. So the odd... And the, with cost reduction, the odds are very, very good. You gotta... You gotta do something. Let's swat the uh, the target of the original to your bird token. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Yeah, I got no response on that. Get a mystical more draw. Yep. Yep. Well, me too. Yep. Draw. All right. I'm gonna have a bird. I'm gonna just put two here. I got a hasty bird that'll go away end of turn. Please don't hit me with it. All right. Here we go. You know I will. That's a one. Shimmer back in hand. Next is a five. Shimmer back in hand. Use um, four of the red to cast a storm kiln artist. I'm gonna. I'm gonna just keep doing this. <laughs> um, <laughs> um. Sorry. <laughs> Uh, if you if you I, can get through the pact that I have in exile, um, that then then you know that's good, and you might be able to slow me down. I'm pretty much out. I I can't. I'm out of free magic after this force of will. I'll exile a windfall. Hey, one nice for the storm killing. Yeah, yeah. I I have no response. Okay, it gets forced. Um, Is it use, more draws? Yeah. Thank you. Draw. Yep. Cool. Thanks. Same thing, use the red and uh, one of the treasures going to five treasures and cast Shimmer. This time I'm going to target Sakashima Krark. Uh, I'll draw. I got something. Yeah. Okay, hell yeah, hell yeah. Um, I'll force of negation pitching Yuriko. Nice. Let me take a quick look at my graveyard here. You guys can draw. I'll cast the pact out of exile with the triggers. Yeah, this is like the final boss that I don't know how we beat this pack. I know, this is funny. Um, yeah, unfortunately, I've got no responses. Draw off the fish. Well, here comes Super Cam coming in. Oh, shit. <laughs> Pyroblast <laughs> for this pact of negation. Okay, the original pact? Draw. Uh, I believe so, yes. All right, we're drawing off fish, everybody? Yep. Yep. All right, here we go. Boop. Here comes Super Cam. Here comes Super Cam. I have no response to the original. He's the worst one. superhero of all time. <laughs> I have no response to the original um, Iro. I don't think. Okay, it gets countered, and then there is a force negation on that heat shimmer. I'm gonna respond. I think. Tap the Chromox for a blue and crack a treasure, going to four treasures, and I'm gonna cast Intuition and get all of the triggers again. Holy yep. shit. Yeah, I got no responses. Um, all right. I got a Mithromar. Yep, yeah, go for it. Go for it on the fish. My win condition is that you guys are all going to mill yourselves out with these Mystic Remoras. I'd love to. 
Yeah, intuition result. I have nothing to say I, about intuition. Yeah, we'll we'll see. We'll see. Could could do absolutely jack shit. Okay, um, I'm gonna roll this, and it'll be evens or odds for the intuition because I still have fucking oodles of triggers underneath it. Two copy of intuition on the stack. Trigger tavern scoundrel. Go up to six treasures. Intuition. Who are you targeting? Oh, um, I'm gonna target you, Dan. Fluster storm, force of negation, and a force of will. You have the force of negation. The other two will go in the bin. Next trigger for intuition. Next card trigger. Uh, it's a seven. So intuition will go back to my hand. Cast force negation. Uh, I need to pay for it. So I will pay. Who are you targeting? To oh, the favorite. original force of negation. That, oh my that God. Force of negation. My brain is melting yep. right now. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, crack three treasures. Y'all can draw from fish. Okay. So here we go. Oops. Yep. That is. Can y'all see that? On the edge there. Yes. Scoot it over. It's an eight. Mm -hmm. So there's a copy of Force Negation targeting that one. Okay. It, yeah, it can. It? Take me to five treasure. Next one is a seven. Back to hand. And final one is a four. Copy and it'll fizzle. But I'll go up to seven treasures. All right. Can y'all with this heat shimmer or no? Is it, am I good to flip on it? Yeah. No, I, uh, here we go. Let's roll for shimmer. Five. Shimmer back in hand. Four. Copy a Shimmer. I'm going to target the Sakashima Crook. Yep. And so, I'll go up to I have uh, a nine treasure. A copy targeting the, the Sakashima? Absolutely. What happens if that Sakashima is not there when the Heat Shimmer resolves? Fizzles? Absolutely. All right. I got a Chain of Vapor for that Sakashima. Nice. For the fish yep. draw? Yep. Fish draw? Yeah, you can draw. Okay. Um, I'm going to... One, two, three, go to four treasure. I'll cast the force of negation again. See, yeah, I guess, yeah. Draw again. I gotta just hope eventually you'll hit enough tails. Here we go for force. Two, copy of force. Trigger tavern scoundrel. Go up to six treasure. All right, next one. Uh, five, force back in hand. Next Oof. one. Uh, two, another force of negation. No, no target, it'll fizzle. I'm not, I'm never gonna f loot with Brawl. That too much time. This is already insane. Um, Heat Shimmer gets me a Sakashima Crark. We got uh, one more trigger. Here we go. Uh, that's a five. So it's back in hand again. Uh, this, yeah, I mean, if y'all want to keep drawing from fish, that that that's good. Um, I'm going to cast a, go to four. I'm going to cast a Harmonic Prodigy. So that would give me two, four, six, eight triggers for whatever I cast. Yep. We're getting close to 90% or above it at this point? We're well above 90%. Well above 90%. I'm yeah, ready we're to at scoop. Like I don't know. 98. Should we wait? 98 no, I don't change. think so. Because like I, I think the, the probability that I draw into my first guardianship or I don't know, the, the idea that we both run into enough interaction at this point is pretty small. How close are you to an actual win condition? <laughs> oh, God. Uh, yeah, good that's question. good. Well, with Heat Shimmer, all these have copies. Um, yeah. Or all have haste. So I'll just keep heat shimmering between Scoundrel and Sakashima Krarks, and eventually it'll net. I mean, it's going to well more than net positive, and I'll just attack y'all. Okay. So there's a 90% chance. That, okay. Yeah. 98. 98% chance right now that you will at least do both. Cop, make Correct. one copy yeah. after your hand. Copy and, and bounce. After that, it's more than 98%. Yeah. And you can do this. You have enough mana. You'll have treasures. I think we're good to scoop. Cameron, do you have <laughs> yeah. anything? I got a piece. I don't good for me. Veil of Summer, so I would see what my next card was going to be. There you but go. I'm going to help, but... All right, yeah, yeah I'm I good. Two. I draw two? No, it wasn't that. <laughs> oh, yeah. There you go. <laughs> no, that's good. That's great. Oh, Jesus. Nice, 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 All right. nice. Oh, man, I was really hoping Ken was not going to do that. Well, I got to gain 20 life, so it's whatever. <laughs> you did. You did big punchies. Congratulations to Ken on his win. This is a really impressive win through two Mystic Armors, and it's a great example of how the engine of the Krark deck works when it's fully online between two cost reducers, Krark copies, and very particularly the raw power of Tavern Scoundrel. This is a video from a stream from a couple of months back, and one of my first times that I played against Tavern Scoundrel, and it was an amazing showcase of the power of this 10 cent common. Even after I forced Ken to exile some of his wing cons off of Jessica's will, nearly whiffing 8 for 8 hits off of my Cesar, and losing his underworld breach to a force of negation, Tavern Scoundrel was the fuel that kept this fire lit and gave Ken all of the gas he needed to keep going. Sometimes being a great CDH player is about knowing how to make tactical and careful plays, and sometimes it's about storming off into two Mystic Remorse and trying to dumpster your opponents before your Rico stomps on your neck. Big thank you to our guests for joining us today. Go check out the description under this video to find links to all of their work. And remember, if you like this video, one of the best ways to help support us is by leaving a comment and hitting that like and subscribe button. It's incredibly helpful and always appreciated.
If you want to give more direct support to the channel, become a patron to catch episodes early and unlock exclusive bonus content. One final thank you to all of our patrons who make great content like this possible. And thank you for watching. Be good to yourself, everyone.